Ok, bonsoir Maman Anna, bienvenue. <rire> On peut commencer? Oui. Alors, comment vous allez dans l'ensemble? Ok, oui, comment... je vais bien. Ok, tant mieux. Donc, j'ai reçu votre exercice. Comme je l'ai dit, on sent que vous êtes plus libéré. Ok. Vous avez vous J'ai encore beaucoup de chemin à faire. Oui, bien sûr. J'ai encore beaucoup de chemin à faire. <rire> bien sûr, mais déjà, le premier pas de se sentir libéré a été fait. Et c'est vraiment ce qui est important. Être libéré et puis pouvoir euh, avancer progressivement. <rire> Alors, et aujourd'hui, j'ai entendu beaucoup l'anglais. Hein. Euh, J'étais dans où, un workshop. Où, par exemple Oui, parce qu'il parlait. J'étais dans un workshop et il, y avait, il parlait en anglais. Alors, j'ai dû me débrouiller. <rire> C'est bien. C'était un peu difficile, mais... <rire> C'est bien de vous plonger comme ça, dans, comme on dit, vous plonger dans l'eau. Vous, même si vous ne savez pas nager, vous plongez. <rire> Il y avait plein de petites phrases qui venaient de, de, qui étaient un peu des petites phrases qu'on avait dans notre petite histoire mm -hmm. qui venaient. Alors je me rappelais. Ah oui. Et euh, aussi, je connais plusieurs quelques phrases. Alors je me suis un petit peu débrouillée. <rire> C'est bien, c'est super. C'est ça, parce que le but, c'est que votre, votre cerveau puisse se familiariser et puis reconnaître, reconnaître les différents schémas, peu importe ceux qui parlent, peu importe l'accent, que vous puissiez reconnaître. Les autres sont en retard, mais on ne va pas les attendre. On commence avec ceux qui sont là. <rire> OK. OK. Donc, je vais jouer l'audio. On va faire une petite révision. On va juste écouter ce, ce qu'on a écouté les dernières fois et puis on va continuer. Ok, so are you ready? Ok. Yes. Good. So let's go. Once upon a time, when animals still had the ability to speak, a huge buffalo was living on the shepherd's farm. The buffalo was helping the shepherd in the field work. And the shepherd was doing his best to make him happy. One day, the shepherd, who was taking the buffalo to graze, sat under an apple tree to get some rest. At that moment, a hungry, cunning wolf sneaked up and followed them. Mmm, that buffalo would be a great lunch for me. <laughs> But I need to get rid of that human. The wolf suddenly appeared before the buffalo and the shepherd. Arr! I have a few questions for you. If you can't answer, the buffalo is mine. The shepherd and the buffalo were very curious about what the cunning wolf would ask. Why does a buffalo serve a human? when he has such powerful horns, huh? Well, because I plow the shepherd's field, and he feeds me the best food. Hmm, well, how can a shepherd make this huge buffalo serve him? Is that a magic cane in your hand? No, it's not the cane that's magical, it's our wisdom. The wolf did not understand what the shepherd meant. Your wisdom? What's that? That's not an answer. Now I can take this buffalo home if I want. But I'm very curious about this thing called wisdom, too. Okay. This is where we stopped last time. I'm very curious about this thing called wisdom too so this is the wolf speaking the wolf talking to the shepherd because the, sh the, sh the shepherd said why does a shepherd 
how does the shepherd make this huge buffalo serve him? Is that a magic cane in your hand? And the shepherd said, no, it's not the cane that's magical. It's our wisdom. And the, the wolf said, wisdom? What's that? That's not an answer. Now I can take this buffalo home if I want. But I'm very curious about this thing called wisdom too. <laughs> so the wolf is curious about wisdom. He, he wants to know what is wisdom. But first, he wanted to take the buffalo. But when he heard about wisdom, he said, mm, no, 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 no. I want to know about wisdom. What is wisdom? So the, the wolf is curious. Now let's find out what is next in our story. So we are going to do our um, exercise. You listen, you do the imitation. And then I, I do the explanation, okay? And then you do interpretation, okay? So let's go for today's audio. It's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. Okay, so that's the first part. It's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. One more time. It's not with me. But if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. So, is it okay? Can you try to do the imitation? Let's go. It's not with me. It's not with me. me. Good. Now, the next... It's not with me. Good. It's not with me. But if you want... I, but if you want... But if you want... Now, this part. Want. But if you want... But if you want... But if you want, but if you want, but if you, but if you what? But if you want, but if you, <laughs> yes, but if you want, but, but if you but, want, but if you want, but if you want, but if you want. But if you what? Good. Say it again. Want. But if you what? Good. But if you what? But, <laughs> but if you want, when you say it fast, it, it's a bit complicated. But so so slow down. But if you want. But if you what? But if you want. But if you what? Good. But if you want. <laughs> But if you want, good. <laughs> so, yeah. It's not with me, but if you want, anyway, don't, don't worry. After many, many repetitions, you will get it. Okay, so, so let's move on. Okay. But if you want, I can Only show one. you wisdom on one condition. I can show you yeah. wisdom on one condition. I can show yeah. you wisdom on one condition. Okay, try. I can show you, I can show you wisdom on, and condition, on condition, one condition, condition. Good. on, one. on one condition, Good. on one condition. Good. Okay, you are getting closer. So, <laughs> so what does it mean? Let me explain this part. So this is the shepherd, the shepherd is speaking. <laughs> Yes, the shepherd is talking to the wolf. He said, you, you want to know wisdom? Okay. I can show you to show something. Okay, if I say, okay. let, me, let me show you my phone. You see? So I'm showing I'm... you. I want you to see. So I show you. So he said, mm, I'm showing you. but if you want, I can show you. He said, wisdom, wisdom. You want to see wisdom? It's not with me. It's not with me. Okay. This is my phone. Okay. 
My phone is not with me. I have no phone now. No phone. It's not with me. But it's if you me. want, I can show you. I can show you. I can let you see. So he said, you want to see wisdom? But wisdom is not with me. Right now, I don't have wisdom. Uh, he said, I don't have wisdom. It's not with me. But if you want, if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. You want to see wisdom? He said, yes, yes, I want to see wisdom. Okay, I can show you wisdom on one condition. Okay. So tell me your interpretation in French. Try to give me an interpretation in French. What does it mean in French? Mm -hmm. um, a condition. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, je sais pas. <laughs> <laughs> he said, wisdom is not with me. I don't have wisdom now. Que le, le, uh, Le fermier qui dit ah, euh, je vais te je vais te dire à une condition Good. il donne une condition pour que le, lui ne pour le, lui ne fait pas du mal au buffalo. Yes, he said wisdom is not with me, but if you want. I can show you wisdom on one condition. Okay, good. So next. Oh, by the way, welcome, Ange, Angels. Good, good afternoon. Hi, coach. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, good to see you. Welcome. And also, welcome, Uma. Hello, Uma. Hello, madam. How are you? I'm doing great. Welcome. Good to see you. Uh, I'm, I'm fine too. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we've already started. So we are listening and doing the, the imitation practice. Okay. Ah, so, okay. okay so. I, I'm late because I'm not, I, I don't find here. Okay. It's okay. Anyway, you are welcome. So, oh, so would you please unmute yourself? Would you please close your microphone? And when you are ready to speak, you unmute yourself. Thank you. No, not your camera, but your microphone. But if you want also to... Okay, okay. Just your microphone. Okay, thank you, Uma. So, let's move on. Oh. I can show you wisdom on one condition. So I was talking with Mama Anna and we were listening to the first part. So I will repeat for you. It's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. So this is the shepherd talking to the wolf. Because the wolf said, I'm very curious about this, this thing called wisdom. The wolf is curious. The wolf wants to know. What is wisdom? So this is the shepherd answering the wolf. The shepherd said, It's not with me. It's not with me. But if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. So the, the shepherd is saying to the wolf, You want to see wisdom? Okay, but I don't have wisdom with me right now. I don't have wisdom. It's not with me. But if you want to see wisdom, I can show you wisdom on one condition. One condition for you to see wisdom. Okay. Now, what's next? So, but before, uh, tell me if you can do the imitation. I want you to do the imitation before we move on. Ange or Uma, are you ready? To do the imitation 
of this this part. It's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. Yes, I'm listening. Hello. Okay, so let's move on. You are not ready yet. <laughs> it's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. It's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. This is the shepherds talking to the wolf. Now, next, the wolf will say something. Let's listen to the wolf. What's that condition? What's that condition? What's that condition? Okay. Who is ready to do the imitation of this part said by the wolf? Yes, Mama Anna. What what's that condition? Okay. Say it again. What's that condition? Okay, good. Thank you. Jenebu, you wanna try? Welcome, Jenebu. Go ahead, we are listening. You raise your hand. It is not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. Mm -hmm. What's that condition? Good, Jenebu. Good try. <laughs> it's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. And now the wolf said, What's that condition? What's that condition? What is this condition? What's that condition? So the wolf is asking a question to the shepherd. What's that condition? What is it? Tell me, what is that condition? Okay, your French interpretation. Genebu, Ange, Mama Anna, yes. Give me your interpretation of this. Yes, Genebu. It's not with me. Ce n'est pas pour moi. Mais si tu veux, je peux te donner. Want I can show you wisdom. Je peux te donner. I can show. I can show you. Yes. I can show you. Je peux te montrer. Je peux te montrer la sagesse ou bien l'intelligence de connaître. Mm -hmm. On one condition. Mais à une condition. Good. Next. Maintenant, l'autre lui demande à quelle condition. Good. What's quelle est cette condition? Good. What's that condition? The wolf is asking, Quelle est donc cette condition? Yes. The wolf is curious. He is always curious. He is always asking questions. He said, what's that condition? <laughs> now let's find out. Let's move on. Thank you, Genebu. Now let's find out the condition. Because the wolf wants to know the condition. So what is that condition? The shepherd is going to give the condition to the wolf. Let's listen. Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. Okay, this is a very long sentence, so let's let's break it down. <laughs> Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree. Who is ready to do the imitation of this part? Only that one. Yes, Genevu. Until I bring wisdom, I will tied to the trees okay good but li li listen listen again listen. This buffalo? no no just okay. just just this part but i want you to listen again and repeat listen carefully okay until i bring the wisdom okay. i will tie you to this tree okay try again until i bring until i bring wisdom i will tie to the trees Okay, you missed some sounds again. <laughs> Listen again, one more time. Okay. okay. Until, I bring, until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree. 
Okay, try again. Until I bring wisdom, I will tie to the trees. Okay, I, I will tie. Trees. After tie, there is something that you missed. Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie. I will tie. Tie what? <laughs> to these trees? No, no, li listen, listen. After tie, there is one sound that you missed. Listen again. Okay. Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree. Okay, say it again. I will. Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie it to the trees. And there is no s at the end of tree. There is no s. Okay. But after tie, there is something that you miss. One sound. I will tie. I will tie who? I will tie what? <laughs> Listen, one Trees? more time. One last time. Listen again. Until I bring the wisdom. Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree. Mm -hmm. To this tree. Until I bring wisdom, I will tie to these trees. Before two and after <laughs> tie. <laughs> Before you say two, and I after will tie you say, two. Tie, I will tie what? Two. No, there is two. Indeed, there is two. But before two, there is another sound. Who wants to okay. help Genebu? Who can help her? Nobody to help Genebu find out the missing sound? <laughs> Okay, let me play it again, very last time. <laughs> Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree. Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you, you. I will tie you to this tree. You got it now? Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you, you. Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree. Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree. Because the, the shepherd is talking to the wolf. So he said to the wolf, until I bring, I will go and find wisdom. But until I do that, I will tie you, you, you wolf. I will tie you. So this is to tie, okay? <laughs> I will take, okay, a rope. And I will tie you to this tree. Remember, the shepherd sat under an apple tree to get some rest in the beginning. So he said, until I bring the wisdom, I will tie, tie you to this tree. Okay, so there is one tree. Reason why I say okay. it is not trees. Because it is one tree. One tree, so you don't put s at the end of tree. If you say trees, it means there are many trees. Okay. But it is only one tree. So you say tree. Okay, it is a one tree. Yes, good. So until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree. Okay? So next, next part before I explain. Okay. Until I bring wisdom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Until I bring wisdom, I will tie you to these trees. To this tree. Good, good, Genebu. I will tie you to this tree. Good. Next, listen again so that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. Who is ready to do the imitation? So that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. So that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. Mm-hmm. Who wants to try imitating? So that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. Oh, is it a bit complicated for you? <laughs> 
so that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. Okay, let me help you. So that the buffalo would be safe while I'm gone. So that the buffalo would be safe while I'm gone. So that the buffalo would be safe while I'm gone. Okay, so what does it mean? He said, until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo will be safe, would be safe while I'm gone. I will go and find wisdom for you. You want to see wisdom? Okay, I will go and look for wisdom. I will bring wisdom to you. But the condition, so this is the shepherd talking to the wolf. He said, on one condition, if I go to bring you wisdom, I will tie you to this tree. Why? Why? Because I want the buffalo to be safe. I want the buffalo to be in security. I don't want you to kill the buffalo. <laughs> So if you let me go and find wisdom, I have to tie you because you, wolf, your intention is to, to kill my buffalo. I know. <laughs> so I won't let you with my buffalo. I will tie you and I will go and look for wisdom and bring it to you. So this is a condition. If you agree, that's what I can do for you. Okay? <laughs> so, do you understand this part? If you understand, tell me in French. What does it mean? Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. Yes, Uma, Ange, and uh, Mama Anna, you have the floor. What does this mean in French? If you don't, if, if you, you don't understand, you tell me you don't understand. Genebu is back. Yes, I don't understand. You don't understand. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let's, let me explain again. In this story, remember, we have three characters. We have a buffalo, we have a shepherd, and we have a wolf, okay? The wolf wants to eat the buffalo, but the shepherd is protecting the buffalo. The wolf came out and he appeared and he started asking questions but the plan of the wolf is to eat the buffalo he wants to eat the buffalo he, he wants to get rid of the human of the sh of the shepherd so he's thinking what can i do to get rid of the human so he, he started asking questions to the shepherd and to the buffalo and when he asked the question to the shepherd he said why how do you make this buffalo serve you is it because you have a magic cane and the shepherd said no 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 it's not my cane that's magical it's my wisdom so now the shepherd no not the shepherd now the the wolf is curious oh so you can make the buffalo serve you because you have something called wisdom okay so i want to have this wisdom too i'm curious tell me how i can get wisdom and the shepherd said okay you want to you want to have wisdom okay wisdom is not with me right now but if you want, I can show you wisdom. But one condition for me to show you wisdom, 
And the wolf said, okay, what's that condition? Then the shepherd said, I can show you wisdom, but I have to tie you to a tree. You wolf, I will tie you to a tree. Okay. And I will go and bring wisdom. Because if I don't tie you, you can kill my buffalo. So if you agree on that, okay, I can go and bring wisdom to you. Okay. So, Ange, do you understand now or not yet again? Hello, Ange, Uma. Uma, you can participate. You can unmute. If you want to say something, you just unmute yourself. You open your mic, okay? And you, you say something. So <clears throat> the goal is for you to understand. Yes, Uma. Can you repeat again? Because I don't follow you. All that I was explaining, you didn't. Because I was. I don't feel very well today. That's why I cannot follow correctly. Oh, you don't feel very well. I'm so sorry. Yes. Yes. That's why I cannot participate. So I want to participate, but mm -hmm. I have a problem of voice. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, but mm. at least you can hear me. Yes, I hear you for. Okay, good, good. Okay, so my question is, mm -hmm. I want you to tell me in French what mm -hmm. this means, what I just explained. What does it mean in French? Give a French interpretation of this. When I say, the buffalo said to the shepherd, no, the, the wolf said to the, sorry. <laughs> the shepherd mm -hmm. said to the wolf, until I bring wisdom, I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo would be safe while I'm gone. What does it mean in French? Le loup a dit au berger to tie. I, I, I don't understand the meaning tie. of tie. Look, look at me. This is yes. the tie. Do you see my hands? Yes, I see. Yes. So he, he said the wolf, the, the, the shepherd said to the wolf, I will tie you to this tree. There is a tree. So I will yes. tie you mm -hmm. to this tree so that the buffalo would be safe while I'm gone. So what does tie mean? To tie somebody or to tie something? What does it mean? To tie. When you see my... Attaché. Exactly. Attaché. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, when he said, until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo would be safe while I'm gone. Uh, so, tell me in French. Uh, can you repeat again? I don't understand well. <laughs> <laughs> until I bring wisdom, I will mm -hmm. go and find wisdom for you. I will bring wisdom to you. Wolf, you can we integrate this sentence part, part, part by part because the sentence is too long? Reason why you don't need word for word translation to understand. Yes, okay. Let me let me maybe let me say that in French because it's a bit complicated. En fait, yes, quand vous comprenez ce que j'explique par le tunnel de production de la parole. Pour pouvoir interpréter quelque chose de l'anglais en français, vous n'avez pas besoin de connaître tous les moins petits mots de, ça. de ce qui est dit. Vous avez juste besoin de comprendre le contexte et le message. Et l'interprétation, c'est d'interpréter un message. C'est de donner le sens en français. Donc, même si vous n'avez pas la définition de tous les moins petits mots, une fois que vous avez compris le message, votre rôle, c'est de rendre le message dans votre langue à vous. C'est ça. Parce que si vous voulez comprendre les moins petits mots, vous allez vouloir forcément faire une traduction mot pour mot et vous allez 
passer à côté, vous allez peut-être même être hors sujet. Parce que ça. quand il y a deux langues, il faut comprendre le contexte, il faut comprendre euh, le message. C'est ce qui si vous est demandé ici. Ok? Ok. Donc, faites une traduction. Je vais dire, je vais pas dire global, mais faites une traduction. Ça peut être à peu près, mais donnez un peu, à peu près ce que ça veut dire en français, ce que je viens de dire. Ok, so, ok. Ok, go ahead, try. Ok. Repeat the sentence again. Okay. I want to try. Ok. So, he said, I will go and find wisdom until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you. To this tree so that the buffalo will be safe because i want my buffalo to be safe so you yes. go i will tie you Mishita. to a tree i will tie you Mishita to a tree needs his buffalo to be safe yes the shepherd wants his buffalo to be safe so yes. he said okay. to the wolf you wolf mm -hmm. i will tie you to this tree because i want my buffalo to be safe when i'm not here Because I will move to find wisdom. And when I move, I want my buffalo to be safe. And for my buffalo to be safe, I need to tie you. This is a condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So try, try now to say it in French. Mm. Yes. Try something. Don't, don't, don't try to be perfect. Try something. Say what you can. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> the sentence is too long. No, it's not about the sentence being long. It's because you want to do a word for word translation, which you don't need. Okay. So let me, let me. Okay. Anyway, if you don't understand now, And the goal is for you to understand and not me telling you in French. So let's move on. As we move on, you will understand over time. Okay? Okay. You will take your time. You will watch the video of this session over and over again, and you will get the message. So okay. let's move on then. So the buffalo said, the wolf soon. No, why am I mixing? The, the shepherd said, until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo would be safe while I'm gone. So the buffalo... I want, yes? I want to try again. Okay. Go ahead. Le berger, le berger a dit, mm -hmm. jusqu'à ce que je t'apporte euh, la sagesse, okay. je vais t'attacher sur ce bois. Okay. Jusqu'à ce que je t'apporte la sagesse. Mm -hmm. Good, you see? You got it. But when he said, so that the buffalo would be safe while I'm gone, what does it mean here? What? I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo would be safe while I'm gone. Because the shepherd said, I want the buffalo to be safe. What does it yes. mean in French? Uh, je vais t'attacher sur ce bois mm -hmm. jusqu'à ce que uh, le buff soit sauvé. Good. Something like that. Good. You see? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it. So the, the concern of the of the shepherd is that he wants his buffalo to be safe. Mm. He doesn't want the, sh the, the wolf to kill his buffalo. Yes. So he okay. said to the buffalo, no, he said to the wolf, okay, you want to see wisdom? Okay. But I have to, there is a condition there is to a see condition. this wisdom exactly, okay. and this condition yeah, is for is me to tie you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see now. Yeah, good. Why do I need to tie you? Because you can kill my buffalo. This yeah, is your yeah, intention. Yeah. I know you walk. You walk. It means that the, the, the shepherd is very intelligent. Exactly, exactly. Because he needs his buffalo safe. Yes. But you, how to do to, to, to save his buffalo yes. is to tie the wolf. Exactly. In order the buffalo can kill his buffalo. The wolf can kill his buffalo. Exactly. That's why he needs the buffalo tied 
before bringing wisdom for him. He needs a wolf tied to a tree, not the buffalo. Yes. Ah, okay. The wolf. Okay, good. Good try, Uma. Thank you. Now... Okay, you are welcome. Now, let's move on. Okay, so I hope you guys, you understand now. So, the wolf agreed to this condition. It, did, did the wolf agree? Yes or no? Let's find out. Let's listen. So that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. But now, first, let's do some imitation. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. Mm hmm Who is ready to imitate? The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. Okay, who wants to try? The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. Yes? Nobody? Genevo, welcome back. Oh, Uma, you want to try? Go ahead. Yes. Imitation first. Okay. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. Mm-hmm. The wolf was so curious about this wisdom. Good, but one word is missing. Listen carefully. You missed one okay. word, one sound. Listen again. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. Mm -hmm. The wolf was so curious about this, this wisdom. About before. About this. About what? This wisdom. Before wisdom, there is something. The wolf was Which so one? curious about the thing called wisdom. Mm hmm. Uh, a boy, what can you repeat again? The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. Mm -hmm. the, wolf, the wolf was so curious about the code of this wisdom. No, 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 no. Maybe Genevu want, wants to, to help you. Yes, Genevu, go ahead. Will you want to, to say something? Yes, yes, to go repeat ahead. This part. Yes. And the buffalo was very curious about thing called wisdom. No, 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 no. This part. Listen, Genevu. Listen carefully. Okay. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. Uh, uh -huh, Genevu. The wolf was very curious about thing called the wisdom. Um, there is no, there is no very in this spot in this sentence. There is no sound like very. There is something else. Listen carefully. <laughs> the wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. Okay. Okay. I want to try again. Oh, oh, okay, Uma, unmute yourself if you want to try. Okay, okay I want to try. Okay, let's go. Go ahead. The wolf was so curious about this thing called wisdom. Good! What you missed last time was thing, the word thing. Okay, but it is not this. Listen again, it is not this thing but it is something else listen again mm. the wolf was so curious about the thing called know, wisdom mm -hmm. the wolf was so curious about this thing called wisdom okay you tried you tried thank you so it is the wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom and not this uh, the. the thing. Yeah. Okay, listen one, one last time for everyone. Okay. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom. The wolf yeah. was so curious about the thing called wisdom. Okay. 
Okay, now let's move on. The next part. So, now I want you all to do the imitation of this part. That he even agreed to be tied to a tree. Are you ready? That he even agreed to be tied to a tree. Who wants to try imitating? Nobody? Yes, Uma. Uma is on fire today. Yes. <laughs> Can you repeat the sentence again? That he even agreed to be tied to a tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't understand nothing. <laughs> it was too fast. <laughs> too fast for you, okay? <laughs> okay. Too fast. Genevu, you want to try? Go ahead, Genevu. <laughs> <laughs> but even agree to be tied to be tree. Okay, good, Genevu. Only one sound missing. Listen carefully. Listen again, Genevu. But he even agreed to be tied okay. to a tree. Okay, go ahead, Genevu. Even. But even agree to be tied to be tree. Before even, there is a one sound. Before even. That he yes, even. even. Uh-huh. Yes? But even agree. Mm, there is one sound missing. You missed something. Before even. That even, there is something between. That mm -mm -mm, even agreed. Listen again. That he even agreed to be tied to a tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even agreed. Say it again. Even agreed to be tied to be tree. So say it all together. That. Say it all together. Even agreed to be tied to be tree. But start by saying the that. Say, say it. Repeat. That and continue. That. That mm -hmm. even agree to be tied to be tree. After that, there is one sound. You said it. That uh, 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 even agreed to be tied to a tree. What is that sound? That he even agreed to be tied to a tree. Mm -hmm. you don't but see? even agree to be tied to be tree. You are close. <laughs> yes, Uma. You want to help Jennifer? Yes, we are the, listening. The, the missing song here is there is. No, it's not there is. It is that. She said it. That. Ta -ta -ta. Even agreed. What is in between? That. Even agreed. Listen again. That he even that he even that he even Okay. Uma, you see now? Can you repeat again? That he even agreed. Yes, Uma. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will think again. <laughs> he said I will think again. Okay, so let me help you. That he even agreed. This was the sound, the missing sound. He, he, he. But he even agreed to be tied to be tree. Exactly. That he even agreed to be tied to a tree. To a tree, not to the tree, to a tree. A tree. Okay. So Uma, try to say it again all together. That he even agreed to be tied to a tree. So Uma, you try it and Jenebu, you try again. So first, Uma, let's go. <laughs> Please, Jenebu first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jenebu, are you ready to say it? <laughs> Uma, yes, I'm ready. Okay, so listen and, and repeat. That he even agreed to be tied to a tree. Okay. 
But he even agreed to be tied to be tree. Good. To a tree. To a tree at the end. That he even agreed to, to be a, tied to a tree. To a tree. Okay, say it again. But, but he even agreed to be tied and to a tree. No, no. That he, oh, oh, oh. That, that he even agreed to be tied to a tree. To be tied? To a tree. To a tree, okay. okay. Yeah. But he even agreed to be tied to, to a, a tree. tree. To a tree. <laughs> okay. So, okay, Mama Anna, okay, you want to try fast. something? Let's go, Mama Anna. Unmute yourself, please. To be tried, to be tree. Okay, almost there. To be tied to a tree. To be tied to be tree. To a tree. To the tree. Yes. To the tree. To be tied to a 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 tree. To be tied a tree. To be tied to a tree. A two, a three. Good. To be tied, tied a tree. to a tree. To be tied to a tree. Okay. C'est un peu compliqué. Yes. <laughs> that's, 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 the, the, all those are English sounds you, you need to get used to. To be tied to a tree. To be tied okay. to a tree. To, to be, be tied, tied to, a to a tree. To be tied to a tree. Okay. Over time, you will get it. <laughs> so... <sighs> So what does it mean? Listen and let me explain. So. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom that he even agreed to be tied to a tree. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom that he even agreed to be tied to a tree. So what, what does it mean? So remember, the wolf was very curious about wisdom. He wanted to know. So the shepherd asked him, he said, I can show you wisdom on one condition. And he said, what's that condition? He said, until I bring you wisdom, until I bring you wisdom, I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo would be safe while I've gone. Okay. But the wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom that he said, okay, I want to know wisdom anyway. So I, I agree, tie me, tie me. I agree to your condition, I accept. You want to tie me to, a, to the tree? That is it the condition to bring wisdom? Okay, shepherd, I agree. Tie me and bring me wisdom. <laughs> Because he was so curious. He wanted to know about wisdom at all cost, at all condition. So when he heard the condition from the shepherd, he said, is this the condition? Okay, no problem. I agree, tie me and bring me wisdom. <laughs> so what's your French interpretation? What does it mean in French? Yes, Uma. Unmute yourself, please. Yes. Can you repeat the sentence? Okay, I said I am explaining now. Because after imitation, I explain. I give you more comprehensible input. And now I want you to say it in French. So I was okay. explaining. So listen to my explanation carefully, please. Ah. But, but when I'm explaining, please, you need to mute yourself because there is a background noise. 
Okay, thank you, Uma. So, the wolf, the wolf. Okay, I am the wolf. Okay, I am the wolf. What's that condition? And the, the shepherd explained the condition. Okay, I will tie to this tree. I will tie you so that the buffalo will be safe. And the wolf, I am the wolf. I'm saying something. Huh? Is this the condition? Okay. I agree. I accept. Tie me. Tie me to this tree. Because I want to have my wisdom. If the condition for you to bring me wisdom is to tie me to, to, to tie me to a tree, I agree. Shepherd, I agree with your condition. So tie me to this tree and bring me wisdom. The, the wolf was so curious. He was very curious about the thing called wisdom. He wanted to know about wisdom. So he agreed to be tied to a tree. <laughs> you see, actually, this part is very funny. So let me say that in French. En fait, quand vous avez suffisamment d'abord compréhensible, cela va vous, doit vous permettre de comprendre les parties drôles. Parce que on ne doit pas vous expliquer la blague pour que vous en riez. Ou alors, ce n'est plus une blague. Vous devez comprendre directement la blague en anglais pour en rire. En fait, cette partie est très drôle. Et quand vous la comprenez directement en anglais, vous riez. Et le but pour moi, en vous faisant tous ces exercices d'imitation, en vous apportant les apports compréhensibles en anglais, en vous faisant comprendre, c'est pour vous entraîner à avoir la compréhension spontanée et automatique en anglais sans traduction. C'est vrai que je vous dis d'interpréter en français. Mais ça, ça n'a rien à voir avec le fait de vous la traduire dans sa tête en français pour comprendre. Pour vous inviter de traduire dans votre tête en français, je vous explique en anglais. Je ne vous explique pas en français. Parce que vous devez comprendre directement en anglais. Vous rire directement en anglais, en fait. <rire> Mais je vous demande d'interpréter en français pour voir votre degré de compréhension en français. Mais c'est vraiment facultatif. Ce qui est fondamental, c'est que vous compreniez directement en anglais. So, this part, the wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom that he even agreed. So the wolf was very curious. He was so curious that he said, okay, all I want is i want to have wisdom so i accept your condition what is your condition you want to tie me to a tree okay 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 tie me and bring me wisdom bring me yes i agree i agree do that <laughs> he was very curious so he, he agreed to that condition okay so if you don't understand now you will understand over time it's okay so now let's move on to the next part. The wolf was so curious about the thing. Okay, not this one. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. Okay, now time to move, continue with imitation. Listen carefully. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. Okay, who wants to try? Or is it too fast again? <laughs> yes, Uma. Can you repeat again? Mm -hmm. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. When the shepherd was waiting to bring back wisdom. Okay, listen again and, and try imitating again. Listen again. Okay. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. Mm -hmm. when, the shep when the shepherd was waiting to bring back wisdom. Okay, only two words are incorrect in your sentence. So listen. 
while the shepherd was living. <clears throat> Sorry. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. Um, while, while, the, the while the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. wisdom. Okay. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. While, while, while the, the shepherd, shepherd was leaving, leaving to bring, bring back, back wisdom. wisdom. Okay, try again. Why, why the shepherd was was leaving to bring back wisdom? Good. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. Okay. The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. Okay. Who wants to try the imitation? The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. Yes. Who wants to try? The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. Yes, Uma. The buffalo was craning. Uh, the rest of, his, of the sentence is too fast. Okay, try again, try again. Pay close attention. Try again. Listen. Okay. The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. The buffalo was training at back. Uh, <laughs> Try again, try again, one more time. The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. <laughs> the rest of the sentence is understandable for me. I see. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. You say, so you need to get used to fast English speaking. Let me say that in French. <clears throat> en fait, Qu'est-ce qui fait la différence fondamentale entre l'anglais appris à l'école sur les bancs, au lycée, au collège, et l'anglais de la vie réelle? C'est ça. Ce que nous vous faisons écouter, ce que je vous fais écouter dans le programme de coaching Save English Stories, c'est l'anglais pratique de la vie réelle et d'ailleurs dans tous les services de Save English Network. Je vous fais écouter l'anglais de la vie réelle, de la vraie vie, l'anglais qui est utilisé dans la vie de tous les jours. Ça n'a rien à voir avec l'anglais des livres. C'est l'anglais pratique. L'anglais que vous entendez au quotidien quand vous êtes dans les, villes dans, dans, dans les rues d'une ville anglophone, que ce soit à New York, à San Francisco, ou à Londres, ou à Sydney. C'est l'anglais que vous entendez parler par les gens. Comment la langue est roulée, comment les mots sont mis ensemble, sont, comment les liaisons sont faites. Voilà. Donc, cet anglais, quand vous n'y êtes pas habitué, vous avez l'impression qu'il est très rapide. Ce n'est pas que c'est un anglais rapide, mais c'est que les anglophones contractent beaucoup. Ils font beaucoup la liaison. Il y a même ce qu'on appelle le chunking, c'est-à-dire qu'ils qu disent plusieurs choses ensemble. Vous avez l'impression qu'ils ont dit deux ou trois mots alors qu'ils ont dit une dizaine de mots. Mais ça, ça vous donne l'impression qu'ils ont parlé en deux ou trois mots. C'est comme nous, quand nous parlons le français, on a l'impression de parler rapidement quand on contracte beaucoup. Quand on dit, par exemple, si quelqu'un dit, par exemple, euh, je n'habite pas ici. J'habite pas ici. J'habite pas ici. Vous voyez? Le je n'habite pas, le, na, le n a disparu au profit de j'habite pas ici. Donc, pour un anglophone qui n'est pas habitué, il ne va pas comprendre du coup. Mais quand il est habitué à entendre cela, il va se, se familiariser avec et puis il comprend naturellement. C'est la même chose pour, pour les francophones quand, quand on apprend à parler l'anglais et qu'on veut se familiariser à l'anglais pratique pour parler de façon spontanée. Il faut vous habituer à ces nuances. Donc, c'est une question d'habitude en fait. Sinon, ce qui est dit là, quand je dis que c'est un anglais très facile, 
beaucoup en rient, ils sont étonnés. Oui, ce que vous entendez là, c'est de l'anglais très facile. <rire> Donc, imaginez un anglais en guillemets euh, très, très fast. Et pour vous familiariser avec l'anglais qui est utilisé par, dans la politique, la médecine, les films, vous avez le programme CA English Scanner qui passe aussi sur le CA English Network, notamment la chaîne YouTube. Dans le CA English Scanner, je prends des extraits d'anglais parlés par Monsieur Tout-le-Monde ou des célébrités. L'anglais réel, comment les mots sont mis ensemble. Je les décortique pour vous. C'est pourquoi je l'appelle le scanner. On fait un zoom sonore sur les sons. Quand vous vous habituez régulièrement à décortiquer, ce sera beaucoup plus facile pour vous quand vous serez en situation de vie réelle. Vous voyez donc, si vous n'êtes pas habitué à comprendre ce, ce, ce niveau bas, ça veut dire que vous avez beaucoup, beaucoup à faire. Il vous reste beaucoup de travail. Il vous reste assez de... Enfin, il vous faut vous habituer au maximum. Il vous faut passer assez de temps à écouter ce type d'anglais basique pour vous habituer. Pour vous préparer à écouter d'autres types d'anglais beaucoup plus rapides que ça. Donc, il n'y a pas autre formule que de vous habituer à écouter, écouter encore et vous exercer avec limitation. OK? So, alors... The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. The buffalo... The buffalo was grinning... While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom. The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. Okay, let me explain you now. Okay, the shepherd said, I will tie you to this tree. Do you agree? The wolf said, okay, I agree. So, the shepherd left. He was leaving to bring back wisdom. The shepherd was here. This is the shepherd. Where is my shepherd? My fake shepherd. <laughs> I have a blue Caesar that I use for my shepherd. My children took my blue scissor. I have another one. Okay. So, my shepherd. Okay. This is not a Caesar. This is the shepherd. And this is the wolf. This is not a turtle. This is a wolf. And this is a buffalo. This is not a duck. This is a buffalo. Okay. So the shepherd said, okay, I will bring wisdom. I will go and bring wisdom. Okay, so he was talking to the, to the wolf. He said, okay, you want to see wisdom? Let me tie you to this tree. So this is a tree. This is not a bottle. This is a tree. So he tied, he tied, okay. He tied the wolf. To the tree okay <laughs> so the shepherd tied the wolf to the tree so while the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom so the shepherd he tied the, the, the wolf and he left he went and bring wisdom okay so in the meantime The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. What is it? What does it mean to grin? <laughs> He was making fun of the wolf. So the buffalo saw the wolf and he was grinning at what would happen to him. So this is a I am the buffalo and I'm grinning. <laughs> You want to see wisdom? You will see wisdom. <laughs> so this is 
The buffalo grinning. You say you are curious. Hmm. Hmm. You will see wisdom. <laughs> so the buffalo is making fun of the sh of the wolf. He's laughing at the wolf. So to grin is to like to to laugh like this. <laughs> You see? So, tell me if you understand that in French. Give me your French interpretation. So, let me let me repeat again. So, the shepherd, the the wolf agreed to be tied to the tree. So the shepherd tied the wolf to the tree okay he tied the wolf this is a tree this is a wolf this is not a bottle this is not a turtle this is a tree and this is a wolf the wolf okay and this is the shepherd so the shepherd tied the wolf to the tree because the wolf accepted the condition to be tied to a tree so he tied the wolf to a tree and he left to bring back wisdom. He went and find wisdom for the wolf because the wolf said he wanted to see wisdom. So he tied him. So why the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom, the buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. So this is the buffalo now. <laughs> the buffalo is laughing at the wolf <laughs> so now tell me what does it mean yes mama anna in french <laughs> le, le, le loup il a upset d'être attaché parce qu'il est tellement curieux qu'il veut voir que ce qui se passe et le buffalo il rigole parce qu'il sait que ce que ça va se passer exactly so the, the buffalo is greeting <laughs> he said <laughs> so the wolf is tied to the tree and the buffalo is greeting at what would happen to the wolf <laughs> you wolf you will see <laughs> so thank you mama Anna. so the, the the buffalo is 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 laughing <laughs> the wolf the wolf want to see wisdom. <laughs> so he's grinning. <laughs> so the buffalo knows the plan. The, the buffalo knows what will happen to the wolf. So he's grinning. <laughs> you say you want to see wisdom? Really? Oh, so you will see wisdom. <laughs> so what is next? Let's find out. The buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. <laughs> so do, do you hear that? This is the sound of the buffalo grinning. <laughs> because when you grin, you don't laugh out loud. You don't do like, ha, ha. No, this is to laugh out loud. But to grin, you do like this. <laughs> so the buffalo was, was grinning. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's next? Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing. Okay, now I want you, I want your imitation on this part. Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing. One more time. Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing. It's a bit long, but try. Yes, Uma, let's go. Listen again, listen again. Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing. And the wolf cannot understand why the buffalo was laughing. Okay, good, good. You are almost 
there and just one or two words are incorrect listen again pay close attention although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing and there the wolf cannot understand why buffalo was laughing okay you're almost there <laughs> but it's good generally it's good okay let me help you yes although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing although although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing yes although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was uh, laughing although although i'll go although though okay like although. like the that this although yeah. Those. Although, not those. Although. Al what does mean although? This is a new word for me. Yes, but you can't understand the new word if you don't understand the context. Yes. I don't want you to look up in a dictionary. I want you to understand directly in English. <laughs> Yes. The reason why I explain in English for you to understand the context. So don't 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 worry about what is although. Your more your concern should be to understand the context and the message. And exactly. over time, you will understand what although means. Yes. Okay. So thank you for your imitation. Now I will explain. And you will understand what although means. Okay? Okay. Okay. No okay. problem. Thank you. So now let me explain. But this is a long sentence. This is the first part of the sentence. What is the second part? Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. He continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. Okay, this is the second part. He continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. Imitation, who is ready? He continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. He continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. Yes, who is ready? Uma, Ange, Mama, Anna, who is ready to do the imitation? Yes, Ange, try, try something. He continued to wait. Oh. Okay. Let me play it again. Listen carefully. Uh, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. Okay. He continued to wait with his shepherd for hours. Good. They're almost there. Good. One one last time. Listen to me and try again. He continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. He continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. Good. He continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. He continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. Okay. So what does it mean? So this sentence, this two part sentence, it's a two part sentence. What does it mean? Let's find out. Let's listen all together. Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. So remember, our wolf is tied to a tree. Okay? Let me tie him. So the shepherd tied the, the wolf to the tree. Okay? And the buffalo was grinning. So what is the reaction of the wolf? 
the wolf is tied to a tree so although the wolf did not understand why the buffalo was laughing the buffalo was laughing but the wolf did not understand why the buffalo was laughing so he said hmm? you are laughing anyway and he continued to wait he continued to wait anyway he was tied so he continued to wait for the shepherd he is waiting for the shepherd to come back to come back with wisdom so <clears throat> although means also even though so even though the buffalo was laughing <laughs> even though he was laughing the wolf was waiting for the shepherd how long did he wait for uh one minute 10 minutes or 30 minutes he waited for hours maybe two hours or three hours so he waited for a long time because he wanted to to have his wisdom so let me recap so although the wolf did not understand why the buffalo was laughing it means the buffalo was laughing <laughs> and the wolf was hearing the buffalo laughing but he didn't understand why the buffalo was laughing so although he did not understand okay the buffalo is laughing okay me i am waiting for the shepherd he continued to wait for the shepherd he didn't care about the buffalo laughing okay you can laugh no problem but i am waiting for the shepherd so although although the buffalo was laughing the shepherd the the, the wolf continued to wait for the shepherd for hours <laughs> okay so tell me what you understand in french let's go i'm listening even though okay you will understand although again although your explanation is not perfect just say something although you what your you, although your english is not perfect just open your mouth and say something okay although you are going to make mistakes don't worry say something your efforts are your efforts are the most important okay so i'm listening to you hmm? yes uma Same interpretation yes même si le loup même si le bœuf continuait le bœuf riait euh, le loup attendait toujours le berger pendant des heures good great job that's it you see so you don't need to understand you don't need a, you don't need a dictionary you to, to understand the real life english you don't need a dictionary at all no you need to understand the context like we say in french les mots n'ont yeah. de sens que dans leur contexte yeah. c'est pareil pour l'anglais les mots n'ont de sens que dans leur contexte la raison pour laquelle vous devez comprendre les mots dans leur contexte voilà pourquoi dans le tunnel de production de la parole ce qui est fondamental c'est le contexte comprenez le contexte dans lequel les mots sont employés quand vous comprenez le contexte vous allez comprendre le sens du mot parce que les contextes vont varier et le sens des mots va aussi varier you understand? ok, okay. Yes. so that's it so although the wolf no although the buffalo did not understand why the, the, the no 
although the wolf did not understand why the buffalo was laughing, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. Okay, good. Next, next part. Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. After a while, after a while, after a while. Okay. Uh, listen. After a while. Now I want you to do the imitation of this part. After a while. After a while. After a while. Okay, Uma, are you ready? After a while. After a while. Okay, say it again. After a while. Good, after a while. Yes, yeah, Jean-Marc. After a while. Again? After a while. Good. After a while. After a while. After a while. After a while. What does it mean? Yes, Mama Anna. After a while. After a while. Good. After a while. After a while. After a while. Again? After after why good <laughs> after why after why after why okay good thank you so what does it mean after a while it means after a long time after a long time after a while because the wolf continues to wait for the shepherd for hours. We can also say the wolf continued to wait for the shepherd for a while. So in this context, a while means a long time, a very long time, maybe two hours, three hours, even four hours, who knows? <laughs> a long time. So, after a while, after a while, after a while, okay? So, after a while, next. After a while, the shepherd came out with a big box in his hand. Okay, I think that's the end of, that's the end of today's, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, or uh, am I mistaken? Let's recap what you are supposed to listen today. Uh, let me go to the WhatsApp group. It seems like I'm <laughs> going too far with, with what you're supposed to listen. Let's listen together. It's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. What's that condition? Until I bring the wisdom, I will tie you to this tree so that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. The wolf was so curious about the thing called wisdom that he even agreed to be tied to a tree. While the shepherd was leaving to bring back wisdom, the buffalo was grinning at what would happen to the wolf. <laughs> Although the wolf could not understand why the buffalo was laughing, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. Yes, yeah, so so that's that's the end. Today we are supposed to stop here. Although the wolf did not understand why the buffalo was laughing, he continued to wait for the shepherd for hours. So after a while is for next week. Okay? So now <clears throat> let me do the what I call consecutive no simultaneous imitation. Okay? I will do it, okay? And you will listen to me. So listen to me when I do this. Okay? This will help you. 
this helps with the pronunciation. So, listen. It's not, it's with, not me, with me, but if you but want, if you want I, can I can show you wisdom on, on one, one condition. condition. What What's that, that condition? condition? Until, Until I bring the wisdom, I will, I will tie, tie you to this tree so, so that, that the buffalo will be safe while I'm gone. gone. The wolf, the wolf was, so was so curious about the thing called wisdom that he even agreed to be tied to a tree. While the God shepherd was leaving, was leaving to bring back wisdom, the buffalo, the buffalo was, was grinning at what, what would happen, happen to the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Although, Although the wolf could not could understand, understand why the buffalo, why the buffalo was, was laughing, he continued, continued to wait for the shepherd, the shepherd for, for hours. hours. Okay, so that's the simultaneous imitation or what we call shadowing. Okay, so this helps this helps you with the rhythm, how you pronounce the pace, the rhythm. It's very important. So let me go back in French. Okay, alors on va on est pratiquement vers la fin. On va conclure un peu en français et prendre encore vos questions. Euh, et préoccupation. Alors, ce que je viens de faire là, ça s'appelle euh, l'imitation simultanée ou shadowing. C'est pour améliorer votre cadence et votre rythme de parole. Parce que, écoutez, quand, quand vous écoutez par exemple, It's not with me. It's not with me. It's not with me. Donc, c'est comme une mélodie en fait. C'est comme une cadence. C'est comme un rythme de parole pour avoir l'air, pour avoir le parler plus naturel. Donc, au lieu de dire « It's not with me », pour ne pas que votre parler soit saccadé, il faut que vous vous habituez à avoir un parler fluide, en fait. Donc, quand vous imitez dans la voix de la personne anglophone, vous vous habituez à avoir la cadence. En toutes choses, nous imitons, nous empruntons un accent. Donc, quand vous dites « It's not with me, me. », donc, quand vous faites l'imitation simultanée, vous vous entraînez à avoir la bonne cadence. It's, It's not, not with me, me but if you want, want, I can, I can show, show you wisdom on one, one condition. condition. What? Vous voyez? It's not with me, but if you want, I can show you wisdom on one condition. Donc, moi, c'est après des heures et des années d'écoute que j'ai pu avoir cette cadence. Vous voyez? Et vous, vous pouvez l'avoir. Donc, c'est plusieurs heures d'écoute et de pratique pour pouvoir parler plus naturellement. OK? Alors, question, préoccupation, impression pour cette séance du jour. Vous avez la parole. Vous avez la parole pour des questions. Yes, maman Anna. Uh, C'est un peu difficile, ça va trop vite. <rire> Mais... Uh... À fur et à mesure, j'arrive à comprendre un peu au moins le sens. Et merci beaucoup hein, pour euh, tout le travail que vous avez fait aujourd'hui. Je suis désolée que je n'étais pas toujours euh, présente, mais j'ai écouté tout. Hein. <rire> merci beaucoup, Maman Anna. Le plus important, c'est vraiment la participation. Donc, même si vous ne réagissez pas, vous voyez que quand vous ne réagissez pas, je ne vous force pas ou ne vous blâme pas comme on le fait traditionnellement en classe, voilà, chacun a son rythme. Quand vous vous sentez prêt, vous parlez. Quand vous sentez que vous n'êtes pas prêt, bon, je comprends et puis on avance. Donc, c'est beaucoup d'écoute et c'est ce qui va vous aider vraiment à, à, à vous habituer à ce rythme que vous dites être rapide. Et donc, moi, je vous dis être très, être très lent. C'est lent, en fait. C'est un anglais très facile, ça. <rire> Mais c'est parce que vous n'êtes pas habitué, vous voyez. Et moi, je veux vous habituer à... À, à vous familiariser avec. Merci beaucoup pour la participation. Oui, merci à vous aussi. Oui, Jean-Marc, nous t'écoutons. Ok, euh, rebonsoir. Oui, bonsoir, Jean-Marc. Euh, merci à vous pour euh, cette séance. Et vraiment, désolé encore pour euh, mon retard. Je sais que ça fait deux semaines maintenant que je ne suis plus euh, vraiment régulier. Voilà, aux, aux sciences. Je m'en excuse. Euh, ce que je voulais dire, c'est euh, vraiment vous dire merci. Voilà, vous dire merci par rapport à votre temps que vous nous accordez. Euh, vraiment, bon, euh, vous n'êtes pas obligé, au fait. 
Alors, vous n'êtes pas obligé, mais je ne sais pas d'où vient cette force et puis bon, ce cœur de bonté là qui fait que euh, à chaque fois vous êtes là pour nous soutenir, pour nous aider, même malgré que voilà, souvent on tâtonne ou bien même euh, on, on fait profil bas, c'est-à-dire que on, on abandonne carrément, mais vous êtes là pour nous encourager voilà, à continuer. Et vraiment, je voulais vous, vous dire merci. Et aussi en secret, voilà, sachez que euh, c'est vrai que c'est compliqué, mais euh, nous aussi, de notre côté, voilà, essayez que chacun de nous fait le nécessaire, fait ses efforts voilà, pour pouvoir y arriver. Donc, c'est ce que je voulais dire. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Jean-Marc. Merci. <rire> Effectivement, ce n'est pas facile. Hein. Je vous comprends, vous voyez. C'est pourquoi euh, mon rôle, c'est vraiment différent du professeur d'anglais. Voilà, je, suis, je joue le rôle de coach d'anglais ou de parents linguistiques. Un, un parent n'abandonne jamais devant ses enfants. Vous voyez, quand vous comprenez déjà la relation entre un parent et un enfant, et que vous voyez que peu importe les désidérata de l'enfant, le parent est toujours présent, vous voyez que ça change tout en fait. Voilà. C'est la patience. Un coach d'anglais, en tout cas pour le rôle que je fais en tant que parent linguistique, c'est quelqu'un qui doit être très patient. Ne pas s'impatienter, ne pas perdre patience quand vous n'arrivez pas à, 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 à répondre euh, dans le temps, quand vous n'arrivez pas à réagir comme il faut. Voilà. Donc, euh, je suis très patiente. Je m'efforce d'être très patiente parce que je sais ce qu'il ce qu faut pour en arriver là. Comme je le dis souvent, moi, c'est plus de 20 ans de pratique. Aujourd'hui, entre guillemets, je n'ai rien à envier à ceux qui parlent anglais même aux anglophones natifs, voilà, parce que c'est du travail, c'est de la patience. Et c'est vraiment ce que je veux vous communiquer, que vous soyez, que vous travaillez dur à faire tous ces exercices. Tout ce que je vous présente dans le Saving Each Network, c'est la, la panoplie de tous les exercices, de toutes les expériences que j'ai moi-même vécues. Voilà, j'ai juste créé une plateforme pour vous permettre de, 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 aussi, de partager cette expérience avec vous et de vous faire vivre ce que vous avez envie d'expérimenter pour avoir le résultat que vous voulez. Vous voyez? Donc, c'est le temps, c'est la patience et c'est les efforts. Mais même si le parent est patient, le parent linguistique est patient, vous, vous devez vous mettre vous-même la pression parce que vous, vous avez un objectif à atteindre et vous n'aurez pas toujours le temps c'est pourquoi vous devez maintenir l'intensité sur une période de temps. L'intensité, c'est très important. Et l'intensité, c'est de vraiment fi, faire fi d'autres choses et de consacrer le maximum du temps pour l'objectif que vous voulez atteindre dans ce temps imparti. Être intense, ça va vous emmener à faire des sacrifices. Voilà. Il y a une, plus d'une vingtaine de personnes inscrites dans ces journées portes ouvertes, mais on a seulement souvent à peine 10 personnes qui participent régulièrement pour des contraintes de temps et, et autres. Ce n'est vraiment pas facile, surtout quand on est dans la vie active. Mais ce sont des sacrifices à faire. Voilà. Et c'est de maintenir la cadence et maintenir l'intensité. Et vous allez y arriver. Donc, tout ce que moi je peux vous dire, c'est de vous encourager. Vous avez le dimanche les journées postes ouvertes, la séance de coaching. En semaine, les mercredis, vous avez le Saving Niche Scanner qui sort tous les mercredis sur la chaîne YouTube Saving Niche euh, Network. Donc, le Saving Niche Scanner, voilà, où je vous donne encore la possibilité de suivre les exercices d'imitation consécutive et d'imitation simultanée. Pas avec des histoires, mais avec des, des, des dialogues, avec des conversations d'autres anglophones dans la vie réelle. Tout ça mis ensemble vous aide à, à vraiment vous exercer. Maintenant, il faut bien avoir le temps pour pouvoir suivre ces, ces programmes. Donc, ce n'est pas évident. Tout ce que je peux vous dire, c'est beaucoup de courage à vous. Ce n'est vraiment pas évident. OK. Alors, euh, sur ce, je vais vous introduire à ce que nous allons voir lors de la prochaine séance. Qu'est-ce que nous allons voir lors de la prochaine séance? On va écouter et conclure la séance du jour. Donc, c'est à peu près 50 secondes, un extrait de 50 secondes. Nous sommes euh, presque au terme de, 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 
des exercices, les, des exercices d'imitation avec l'histoire. Donc, la séance prochaine sera l'avant-dernière et la séance d'après sera la dernière séance pour nous imprégner des audios. Et après, on passera à l'étape suivante. Qu'est-ce que nous allons voir? Euh, Laissez-moi vous faire jouer ça. After a while, the shepherd came out with a big box in his hand. He opened the lid of the box, but the wolf saw that the box was empty. Well, wisdom, where is it? Did you bring it? It's inside, right there in the corner. If you don't see it, let me untie you so you can take a closer look. As soon as the wolf got into the box to see the wisdom, the shepherd closed the lid on him. <laughs> help! Help! Wisdom is too precious to fit in a box, dear wolf. Wisdom is in the mind, and you can only find it by searching for it like hidden treasure. <laughs> okay, one more time. After a while, the shepherd came out with a big box in his hand. He opened the lid of the box, but the wolf saw that the box was empty. Well, wisdom, where is it? Did you bring it? It's inside, right there in the corner. If you don't see it, let me untie you so you can take a closer look. As soon as the wolf got into the box to see the wisdom, the shepherd closed the lid on him. Help! Help! Wisdom is too precious to fit in a box, dear wolf. Wisdom is in the mind, and you can only find it by searching for it like hidden treasure. Okay, donc... C'est ce que nous allons étudier le dimanche prochain. Je vais vous envoyer l'extrait MP3 comme d'habitude dans le groupe WhatsApp. Et bien entendu, je vais attendre votre réponse en audio. Oui, Ange! Oui, la vidéo à quel moment on envoie? Le vendredi, bien quand? Non, je vous envoie... En général, tous les lundis, après vous avoir envoyé euh, les audios, pardon, l'audio pour vous exercer dans la semaine, je vous envoie généralement autour du mardi ou du mercredi. Non, j'ai dit, non, on va faire le retour quand oh bien. Le retour, c'est toujours le samedi soir, toujours samedi soir, au plus tard. Ah, d'accord, ok. Ok. okay. Parce que c'est bon que j'écoute longtemps avant... J'ai compris. OK. J'ai besoin d'écouter avant qu'on ne puisse faire la séance. Il y en a qui m'envoient à minuit, samedi à minuit, ou <rire> bien dimanche tôt le matin. Donc, il faut quand même que j'ai un peu de temps pour vous écouter et puis vous faire un feedback. Voilà. Parce que ce que vous devez comprendre, je vous le dis souvent, mais je le répète encore, ça, apprendre à parler l'anglais... On n'apprend pas à parler l'anglais seul. C'est impossible. On n'apprend pas à parler une langue seule. Il faut quelqu'un avec qui échanger, quelqu'un qui vous suit. Bon, à l'école, on appelle professeur. Mais quand vous n'êtes pas à l'école, moi, j'appelle cela un coach. Et il faut quelqu'un qui ait le temps de vous écouter, comme Jean-Marc l'a dit. Quelqu'un qui donne son temps pour vous écouter, pour vous donner un feedback, pour vous mettre sur le droit chemin, vous aider à évoluer. Et c'est ce temps-là que moi, je vous consacre. C'est pourquoi je vous donne la possibilité de m'envoyer vos audios pour que j'écoute et je vous aide à vous améliorer. Si vous n'avez pas ça, vous ne saurez même pas si vous êtes en train de faire des progrès en fait. <rire> voilà, vous ne saurez même pas si vous êtes en train d'avancer ou pas. Donc, comprenez le privilège que vous avez à participer à ce genre de séances qui sont notamment gratuites actuellement. Voilà. Donc, vraiment, profitez-en au maximum. Et même quand c'est payant, c'est vraiment, ça équivaut à du gratuit parce que ce n'est pas le tarif. Mais comme vous le savez, fondamentalement, voilà, c'est vraiment pour vous rendre service que je le fais. 
Sur ce, merci beaucoup d'avoir participé. Donc, je compte sur vous pour le samedi soir pour envoyer vos audios. Voilà. Faites ce que vous pouvez. N'attendez pas que ce soit parfait parce que sachez que ce sont les efforts qui comptent. Vos efforts sont comptabilisés dans les fameux 16 000 heures. Les fameux 16 000 heures. Si on prend cette semaine qui va commencer, combien d'heures vous aurez d'anglais dans vos oreilles? Ça va compter dans votre quota de 16 000 heures. Peut-être que certains sont à 1000 heures, peut-être que d'autres sont à 600 heures, peut-être que d'autres sont à 2000 heures d'anglais. Il n'y a pas une formule tangible pour savoir vous êtes à combien d'heures d'écoute. Le seul critère qui permet de savoir si vous avez atteint le quota des 10 000 ou 16 000 heures, c'est lorsque vous êtes capable de converser avec un anglophone sans trop tituber. Quand vous comprenez ce qu'il vous dit et que vous pouvez réagir spontanément dans, des, dans une conversation générale. Quand vous pouvez le faire, alors sachez que vous avez atteint la barre, la fameuse barre des, des, des 10 000 heures. 10 000 heures minimum, 10 000 à 16 000 heures. Quand vous avez atteint les 10 000 heures d'anglais dans votre cerveau, vous pouvez parler avec confiance, assurance. Vous n'êtes pas forcément, vous n'avez pas forcément un anglais parfait, correct. Mais vous avez un anglais fluide, ce qu'on appelle le fluency. Vous parlez avec fluidité, avec spontanéité. Vous comprenez et vous savez vous faire comprendre. C'est cet objectif que vous voulez atteindre. Et c'est ce que je vous offre. C'est ce dont je vous offre la possibilité à travers le Save English Network en général et Save English Stories en particulier. So, good luck and uh, God bless you and see you next sunday but in the meantime don't forget to send me your homework so thank you very much for your time and uh, goodbye okay bye 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 goodbye jean marc uma ange momana goodbye bye bye thank you